This episode is dedicated to the memory of the former rapper known as Juice World. This is The Baloney Tales, Season 1, The Baloney in the Mist, Episode 2, uh, The Darkness. Peter, Gay Fanads, and Ricket Randy head back into Futka, looking for a dark knight who can lead them into the land of Goopy. They arrive in front of an old tavern named Heckin' Oop. Peter goes to a bartender and asks him if he has seen a dark knight come by. The bartender points to the corner of the tavern where a man in full armor is sitting. The men go up to the old knight and speak with him. Gayfinad says, Hello, sir. I am Gayfinads, and this is Peter and Ricket Randy. We are on a quest. Pray, are you able to assist us? The old dark knight snarls, What's in it for me? Gayfinad says, I am able to give you a small sum of gill on Final Fantasy XIV if you perform this task for me. I can also give you 3k on RuneScape. The old Dark Knight replies, Are you daft? I am a friggin' Dark Knight, ya bozo! Your insignificant game currency means nothing to me! I will assist you on your quest if you can supply me a Crunchyroll subscription for life! The men gasp. How could this Dark Knight request something so astounding? A Crunchyroll subscription for life would be about a one-year salary for a blacksmith in town. The men whisper amongst themselves. Gaithanads then says, Okay, old Dark Knight, I think we got ourselves a deal. I, I don't believe I got your name, sir. My name is Sir Boomer. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Gaithanads is interrupted. A woman, who appeared to be a waitress at the tavern, walks up to the Dark Knight and gives him a big hug. No words are exchanged, and she walks away. Ricket Randy says, <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? Sir Boomer yells back, That's not my girlfriend! That's my mom, dude! Ricket Randy says, <laughs> Your mom's pretty hot. <laughs> Sir Boomer clenches his sword and screams, Lukagan! Listen, Nazi! Ricket Randy gives Sir Boomer the finger. Sir Boomer, with one quick motion, unsheaths his sword and cuts Ricket Randy's fingers off in a rage. Ricket Randy begins to cry. My bones hurt and I'm scared. Gaithanads begins to bandage and comfort his friend. He turns to Sir Boomer and says, He, he didn't mean it, Sir Boomer. He has rickets. Sir Boomer is still standing in rage staring at the fingers on the ground. Sir Boomer then looks at the men and says, Yet even the holiest of men succumb to the darkest of temptations. My greatsword acts as a beacon to guide the meek through the darkness. My greatsword's name is Sunda Cage, which means death shadow to you English mortals. I will assist you on your quest, for it is my destiny. Before I can help on the quest, will you guys play D&D &D in the tavern with me? The three men gather around the table and play D&D &D with Sir Boomer for a couple of hours. Afterwards, the men have some chalky milky and get ready to enter the portal of the land of Goopy. The men get to the base of the mountain and start to climb. Sir Boomer carries Ricket Randy up the mountain, because the mortals couldn't push him up with the, push him up with the wheelchair. Peter looks over at the Dark Knight and gets nervous. He would have never imagined to be in the presence of a Dark Knight. He, he attempts to talk to him and starts to stutter. Have you, have you ever s s sucked a sword, Sir Boomer? <laughs> Sir Boomer replies, <laughs> Only once in college, but I will leave sword sucking to the experts. I've been around Footka enough to know how important Gaifenads is. Sword sucking can be very dangerous for it can turn the most unexpecting individuals into evil people. Gaithanads gets quiet. This is true. A good suck always better than a bad suck. Men, we are about to enter the land of Goopy. We will see darkness and void entities you never could imagine in your nightmares. Y'all are freaking crazy for doing this, like for real, dog. Sir Boomer dons a zebra print fedora over his helmet. 
and says, Men, my sword will guide us through the darkness. Do not leave sight of my sword. Here, I brought us all zebra print fedoras. Peter exclaims, Why do we need these fedoras? Sir Boomer turns to Peter. These fedoras keep the void entities from infiltrating our minds. Do not take them off in the land of Goopy. The men arrive at the cave, which has the portal to the land of Goopy. The spy from the Baloney King sits atop the mountain and watches them enter the cave. As the men enter the cave, they peer at the portal into the land of Goopy. From the outside, it is pitch black. Sir Boomer looks at the men. Are you soldiers ready? Ricket Randy is visibly shaken, but Gaffin adds, and Peter look determined. Ricket Randy, we can do this, says Peter reassuringly. Ricket Randy replies, I'm old. The only thing I'm good at is playing Final Fantasy XIV. I got the 81st percentile for my samurai the other day. Sir Boomer snaps back and says, I don't give 81 fucks about your samurai. Ricket Randy begins to sob. I'm gonna die in there. Sir Boomer says, I will guide you. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Sir Boomer then picks up Ricket Randy and carries him through the portal. Peter grabs Ricket Randy's wheelchair and heads through the portal as well. Gaffinads tips his fedora and then enters the portal himself. Darkness engulfs the men as they appear in the land of Goopy. The Dark Knight's great sword radiates light that illuminates the area around them. The men are visibly shaken being in this environment, but the Dark Knight does not look worried at all. The other men begin to hear the faint voices from the void. Luckily, the zebra-printed fedoras don't allow the voices to consume their minds. Sir Boomer looks at the nervous men around him. Oh, my sweet summer children, I visited the land of Goopy for ages. Do not be worried and stay close. We have entered the realm of darkness. We must go to the temple of Goopy. We must speak with his followers. As the men begin to walk through the treacherous landscape, they walk past multiple ruins while they follow Sir Boomer. A loud explosion happens behind the men and they turn around quickly. As the smoke clears, they see two masked dudes with BMIs of over 45. Peter screams, You! You're the men who took my daughter! Where is she? The masked dude takes off the masks. Their face appears grotesque, mostly covered in hair with a snout. It seems like these men have had very striking appearances to gorillas, except they had snouts and tusks, but gorilla arms, and they're covered from head to toe with hair. <laughs> I'm soft belly, and this is my red mage, Oinker. <laughs> Don't worry about your daughter. She is safe in the Baloney King's castle. We have come to stop you. Gaffinads mutters, Wait, you're, you're gorilla pigs? The gorilla pigs get hysterical. <laughs> Sir Boomer steps in. Get out of here, you stupid pigs! I'ma kill all of yous! Peter says, Ha <laughs> Bombo clat! The gorilla pigs go into their battle stances. Ninja, Ninja and Red Mage battle stances respectively, and begin to charge at the men. Sir Boomer steps in and swings his greatsword at the ninja Soft Belly and cuts his arm slightly. Soft Belly seems to only get aggress more aggressive at the smell of his own blood. While Sir Boomer swings his arm at Soft Belly, Oinker casts Vercure on Soft Belly. Soft Belly casts Hake Mujisatsu, hurting all the members in Sir Boomer's party. Ricket Randy, Gaffinads, and Peter fall on their backs. Sir Boomer charges at the Red Mage Oinker, and Oinker quickly uses displacement. Within a blink, Oinker uses corpse to corpse on Sir Boomer. Sir Boomer gets hit on the chin. 
while he's in the air, Sir Boomer thinks, How? How is it possible for these gorilla pigs to be so strong? I've trained for years against the gorilla pigs. He says to himself, I... I should know their every move. Sir Boomer falls on his back. Soft Belly jumps on Sir Boomer and attempts to bite at his face. Sir Boomer, clutching his great sword, tries to push Soft Belly off of him. Sir Boomer begins to fatigue. He says to himself, This gorilla pig is too strong. I can't fight him off much longer. Sir Boomer remembers in his pocket. He has an extremely rare Pepe card. He grabs the card and puts it into his greatsword. The greatsword's energy grows. The greatsword begins to burn Soft Belly's skin. Soft Belly jumps off of Sir Boomer quickly. Sir Boomer stands up and thrusts his sword, gutting Soft Belly's belly. The gorilla pig squeals as he falls to the floor. Wee! Wee! Sir Boomer looks over and sees Gaifenads is fighting Oinker the Red Mage. Gaifenads grabs two swords from his waist belt, puts one in his mouth, and as he sucks, the other sword grows brighter. With a flash, th an explosion happens, sending an intense urge of water at the Red Mage. Gaifenads smirks and says to himself, <laughs> Everyone knows a Red Mage's weakness is water. Oinker starts to squeal, Wee! Wee! But the water only seems to anger him more. Oinker screams at Gaifenaz, I am unlike no other red mage, for I am an Irish esports champion. Gaifenaz can now see that he is in fact Irish. His gorilla hair was red. He was extremely violent, and he appeared to like potatoes. Gaifenaz gets a real good suck on his sword and jumps at the red mage. Oinker underestimates the power that Gaifenads holds with his sword suck. In one swing, Gaifenads shatters Oinker's rapier. Oinker goes, <gasps> Oinker swings his gorilla arms at Gaifenads, knocking him on his ground. Sir Boomer comes up behind Oinker and puts the great sword around the Oinker's throat. Don't move, piggy, or you'll lose your head, says Sir Boomer. The Oinker gets quiet. Now run along, little monkey pig. Go tell the Baloney King what you witnessed today. The Gorilla Pig squeals as Sir Boomer takes the great sword off of his neck. Whee! Oinker runs through the portal of the mortal world. Sir Boomer then speaks to the men. We must go quickly. We are on our way to Temple Goopy. But first... We need to go to Temple Raffle Cactus. We must find and read the book of Chio Shiro. The men nod as they collect themselves. Ricket Randy cries out, My butt butt hungy. Sir Boomer picks up Ricket Randy in his wheelchair and they head deeper into the darkness to find the Temple of Raffle Cactus.